welcome to the tutorial number 11 so in this tutorial we are going to complete remove to do and mark as done functionality and we will complete the remove to do method and also delete also uh, uh, bind a class which changes the color background to green on completion so this is the part of the mark as done functionality and this is the remove to do method which we had created earlier by the name delete to do so th this means the same thing we will complete that method and then we will make sure that uh, we uh, that our app works perfectly fine so let's carry on with the code first we can add input type is equal to checkbox which we have already added so we can add a class to here that is form check input so i'll add this class form check input and let me refresh the page and add a random to do and here you can see it's now becomes looks pretty decent as compared to the earlier one and for this what we can do class is equal to button button danger so this would mark the button as red and let me add it to do yeah so here you can see now both of them have been marked uh, this is marked red and this looks pretty decent so what we can do we can style them both of them style is equal to margin zero auto and we would style the same as text align is equal to center and the display would be the block let me check with this is this works perfectly fine or not so yeah this is now in center and now we would apply the same styling to the button as well and this would be text display block would be to the center and now when i refresh the page and add a simple to do so here you can see the both of them are in the center and to avoid a spacing between the them uh, between the two you can change either this to one rem or auto or other to the same so let me add another to do yeah now we are done with the style perfectly fine now what i plan to do is first i would call the uh like i'll do one thing first i would bind this checkbox to this i'll show you to do app.js so this dot uh, this is the done functionality and done functionality is either false or true so this represents our checkbox because we are making sure that the checkbox is binded with this done functionality which is true or false so now what we can do we can bind this to our checkbox and we can uh, this would add the functionality okay so i'll show you one thing first what i'll do i'll print to do dot done here okay this is just for the debug portion because this would help you us so this is false when i click on checkbox this should turn out to be true so what i can do i would add a done functionality using the bind method so what i can do first i'll add this a name name is equal to done and i'll add id id is same as done so this is option uh, this is like uh, i'm adding name and id this is html part but now comes the view part i'll add v model v model v model is equal to to do dot done okay now i have binded successfully now i'll refresh the page add it to do when i click on this it will turn out to be true this false button will be true true perfectly fine even in there you can see it refreshes itself so this is a true when i click false true false true false true false okay now what i want to do i want to add a class which turns the background to the green okay so what i can do I can add a style component here and okay so 
I'll uh, complete this. So a style component has been added there. So first we removed uh, complete the to do uh, done uh, uh, the remove functionality that is using the delete button. So so what we can do we should call add the rate add the rate click function add the rate click functionality using add the rate click functionality. So we will add add the rate click in the button. So this should be in the middle something. Yeah. So this is fine. Okay. Okay, I'll add here in just a second. Sorry, I'll cut this V model to do dot done since this is an important part, it should be visible clearly. Yes, so this is perfectly fine. And I'll add the red click, add the red click is equal to so what was the name of our method that is was delete to do, right? So this was the name delete to do. And we are passing. I told you that we use a for loop for every list component that is to do in to do's, right? So this was our v for to do in to do's with key is a to do dot id. Now we are passing a to do. We are passing a to do here to delete so that it could pass to the delete functionality and it could delete it. Okay, right? So for that, what we are going to do, we are using going to use the splice method of JS. So remove to do, so like delete to do, and this is first we get the index constant index is equal to this dot to dos. Dot index of to do. So first we get the particular index using this method, and then what we do this dot to do's dot splice. Okay, dot splice index comma one. Uh, this one represents how many delete count number. So that is one. We need to only remove the one. Okay, now we refresh the page. Let us start with the console. Add to do, delete. Perfectly fine. Add to do, add to do, add to do. Now we delete all. Delete, delete, and delete. So we delete everything one by one. So this is, I'll explain you again, once again. So this was the index. So this was this dot to do dot index of to do. First we got the index, and then we remove using the splice method that at this particular index we want to pop that item out so this was the removal now we need to add a class that would change the background to the green and for that what we are going to use we are going to use vbind method so this is very simple so vbind method is like like we bind a class like if this is true okay so by we which we mean that if this is true then bind a class we bind class is equal to okay so now we add a class done done class on the functionality to do dot done because i told you that if this is true then this class should be active Okay, then we will make a done class here. Done class. Okay, and I'll add first font size. Uh, okay, font size is equal to hundred pixel. Just for the just for the sake, I'm just try, trying out if this is working or not. I do done class is this. Okay, true is this right? Okay, I'll get to know. I'll click on inspect. So when I click at true, okay. So we can add background. Uh, wait a second. I'll do color is equal to green. And I'll refresh this page. 
so here you can see when i click on true so the color is green so that functionality was not working but now it works perfectly fine color is equal to green and the background color should be also green background color should be green let me mark this background also as green and this should become uh, this should become white i hope this is fine okay and yeah okay so add it to do okay mark is done so here you can see the background changes out to be green and the text becomes white when i do false the default color is back so this is how now we have completed our to do app you can add to do's and delete them as well delete add mark is done green so this one is white mark is done it also becomes green okay add it to do this one is white so you can delete it delete this one and perfectly fine so app works perfectly fine so thank you for watching this tutorial uh, we will learn a new concept in the next video thank you everyone